No issue asked me if I wanted to try making tote bags. So as a simple idea, I'm thinking of pepper in bread because I love bread. And because they can print on both sides, I'm thinking about playing around with the idea of front and back. So there's going to be pepper in bread at the front and then at the back you can see her butt. It's kind of simple but I think it's going to be cute. You said to see your family But I ran into you yesterday And you never saw it coming, baby I knew you knew what I thought or Did you leave or not? You said that you meant to but you forgot And I never saw it coming it Should have been so easy But I feel incomplete Thinking about you Yeah And I would just let you be But I consistently Think about you Think about you Okay guys, this is the final tote bag design. This is the front and this is the back. Apparently you can put the design all the way to the edge of the tote bag. So I decided to put this pattern at the back. I'm excited to see how it turns out. If you know me, I'm kind of obsessed with this kind of checkered pattern right now. So yeah, I'm going to send this off and then we'll see how it turns out in a few weeks. My phone screen is broken. It still kind of works, but the top part of the screen is not responsive anymore. So you can see like when I click the apps, <laughs> they're not responding. I cracked this phone twice. First time was when I went to Taiwan with my friend. That would have been more than a year ago. And then the second time was this crack, which kind of goes all over the screen, but you can't really see it because it's not a very deep crack. And I've just been using it till now, but this phone is already four or five years old. So I think it's about time to change. So I got myself an iPhone. This is iPhone 12. This one was Samsung Galaxy S8. A few people ask me what I use to take my photos on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, yeah, I use this phone and the app VSCO. I've been using Samsung for like, I want to say like the past seven years. And it didn't super make sense because I have the iPad, I have MacBook Pro, but I don't know. I was just really stubborn about it. Do you guys ever just get stubborn about certain things? I didn't want to fully submit to like the Apple ecosystem. I feel like getting the iPhone at this point makes sense because I can airdrop from my iPad easily. I got a screen protector and just a simple clear case for now. I think I just take it off. Mm. Okay. okay. Why is 
with it being like that. It's got a little bit of hollow effect. I will probably stick things on it later, but for now, yeah. I'm gonna try and make sundubu for lunch. My friend Ame introduced me to this person and yeah, I'm following her recipe. I've never made sundubu before, so I hope it's gonna turn out okay. I'm not gonna make the broth from scratch. I just bought pre-made dashi. So I just realized that the recipe needs hot pepper flakes and I only have gochujang. I'm pretty sure it's not the same, but I don't have anything else right now. So, uh, Hey guys, it's 6th of June and I'm about to open my shop. I didn't vlog anything relating to preparing for the shop opening but I've just been so busy in the past few days getting everything ready. I'll show you guys what I've got tomorrow but for now we're, we're gonna open in about one minute. Who's online? Yeah, it's live. It seems like I did it correctly and people are accessing it okay um, now I got a post on Twitter and Instagram okay yay I did it okay now I post post on Twitter I just made a mistake in my shipping settings and I forgot to add all the new items into the shipping settings. So I just got a bunch of messages saying like, oh, I can't check out, but it's working now. <laughs> I was really panicking for the last five minutes. So yeah, these things do happen and I really need to make a checklist or something of things I need to do before shop launch. Okay, I made a Twitter post and I made an Instagram post. And I'm exhausted now after doing the troubleshooting and answering all the messages. My brain is not functioning anymore. But thank you so much everyone who's placed an order so far. This is my first shop update of the year. 
And I'm so happy to get back to making stuff again. So thank you so much for supporting me. And thank you so much if you got something from the shop. I'm super tired now, so I'm going to go to bed. So good night. Hi guys, it's July 26th today and it's been a while since the last footage that I filmed in this vlog so I thought I would show you guys what the tote bag turned out like This is the tote bag This is the front and this is the back This is a one color screen print and I'm really happy with how it looks I got it printed at no issue and I would say my favorite part about it is that you can make your design all the way to the edge at least the places that I've looked up in the past you can't go all the way to the edge so I think what they did was that they screen print on the fabric first and then sew it up as a tote bag that's what I'm guessing so yeah I really like being able to have the design go all the way to the edge in terms of the fabric, I think I personally would like it to be a little heavier, but it's not too bad. But I do want to look into some other places that maybe offer different stocks that I can choose from. Since this vlog is a little bit old, the tote bag has been sold out once already and this is a restock. And this is the last time I'm probably going to restock this design. So there's still about 20 tote bags left. So if you're interested, please check out my shop. Okay, I'm also going to show you guys new things that I have in my shop just to get the vlog a little bit up to date. So as you might know, I had two exhibitions this year and I finished both of them. So I turned them into some products. First is the Odekake exhibition and I have some prints of my works for the exhibition. So we've got this one, this one, this and this. I'm really happy with how these prints turn out. They really look like the actual painting. And it's the same paper that I always use, but the texture makes it look really close to the original, which I'm really happy with. And then I have this sticker sheet, which I basically extracted the different elements from the artworks. And yes, this is what it looks like. And then for the other exhibition, it's my solo show at Outre Gallery. For that, there's 10 pieces and it's based on Japanese playground toys. And I've turned all of them into both stickers and prints. I'm just gonna show the stickers because it's, it's gonna be basically the same thing as prints. I'm gonna show you kind of quickly because there's so many of them. So this, this, So you can get them individually or you can get them in a set. This is a set of 10. And I made this little paper to go with anyone who order anything from the play series. This is a little bit of an artist statement that I submitted to the gallery along with my works. When the gallery asked me for a statement, Masa actually wrote this for me. And when I read it, I, I got a little bit Theory. I don't know, it was, it made me feel so nostalgic and it kind of made me think about how we used to be so free as children. Anyway, I really loved what he wrote so I, I printed it onto this. And yeah, as I mentioned, there's prints of each design. So there's 10 prints in total. Um, I'm just showing you this one, but you get the idea. I think that's all the new items that I have.
I think that's all the new items that I have. Yeah, so please check my shop if you're interested in any of them. I'm trying to get back to regularly vlogging again. I think there's gonna be two or three more backlog videos. And then after that, I think I, I'll be back to like vlogging the present times. There's so much to show you guys. Actually, my room has changed quite a bit. Like even the location of this desk has been moved. Thank you so much for watching as usual and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!